Yeah. Yeah. So. Yeah. All right, well, should we get started? Yes. So it's, uh, it's really a tremendous pleasure to introduce Jeremiah uh, for his PhD thesis defense. Um, I remember vividly uh, receiving the email from this kid from uh, uh, Washington, University of Idaho, right? And uh, with a sort of mesmerizing story about how he had been homeschooled and then went to community college and then uh, started working in Jack Sullivan's lab. And I just, wow, well, okay, let's contact this guy. And I called him, it must have been like at six or seven in the evening. And we must have talked for about two hours on the phone. I said, okay, we've got to bring this kid out. And uh, it was just an incredible thread. He just sort of blew everybody away. And then I uh, was going to start here in the fall. And I remember running into Rick Harrison and saying to Rick, oh, you know, um, oh, because he had just gotten back from, from being at uh, um, University of Idaho. And he said to me, oh, you know, we've got, uh, just met this Jeremiah Degenhardt kid that's coming here to Cornell. I said, oh, yeah, I'm really excited to come to the computational biology program. And he said, well, um, I just went out in the field with him, and he could, by uh, hearing, pick out the two crickets I work on. I don't know if he's any good at computational biology, but you know, he's certainly <laughs> a fantastic naturalist, you know, better than anybody I know. So um, from there on, he's just sort of uh, gone on to be really just one of the deepest thinkers in the lab, affectionately known as Reviewer 3, uh, <laughs> because every time you know we've come to a conclusion in the lab, then of course Jeremiah will have us re-examine it, and oftentimes he's uh, led us in the right direction. So um, yeah, the ch problems he's chosen to challenge for his thesis have just been among some of the, the toughest and, and, and coolest, in, in particular the kind of copy number variation story in rhesus that um, we'll tell you about and the dog CMB project, which was um, really just a tremendous labor of love. I, again, wanted him to quit far uh, sooner than he did, which was probably uh, um, a good thing, because he sort of eked out some very neat stories, and then um, leading really ultimately to, um, I think, a, a pretty startlingly elegant approach for mapping the pseudo-autosomal boundary from um, hybridization data. So just uh, three very neat and cool projects that come together under the general title of understanding the phenotypic consequence of structural variation. With that, Jeremiah. Thank you. 